you know, and I should actually have you teach you this problem. You could probably do this problem, right? Here's your problem you're just doing, or you could do all those problems. Well, anyways, well, I'll just uh, show you how to do this problem real quick. Um, whenever we're solving an equation, we have a variable on both sides. The easiest thing that I like to do is kind of a, you know follow any certain type of algorithm. I like to get rid of um, my smallest variable first. And what I mean by get rid of is I want to put our variables on the same side. When we're trying to solve an equation, our ending answer, we want to have x equals. All right? Or if it was y or whatever. You always want to have your variable all by itself equaling something else. So right now you notice I have an x on the left side and an x on the right side. I need to get those x's on the same side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to what we say like get rid of our 5x. Well, how am I going to get rid of the 5x? Well, since this is a positive 5x, if I subtract the 5x, I'll be left with 0x. Zero, 0 times x is 0. 0 plus 76 is going to equal 76. Right? 0 plus 76 is just 76, so we don't write it as 0. Um, but whatever you subtract on one side, you have to subtract on the other side. So I have 76 equals 11x minus 5x is 6x plus 10. Now, I have my x on the right side. But with that, now I need to get rid of everything else that's on that side. So I have it being added by 10 and being multiplied by 6. So to undo those operations to my x, I need to get this x by itself. So I'm going to undo addition by subtracting. So I get 66 equals 6x. Why didn't to do which one? Why didn't I subtract the 76 over? You could have, um, but the thing is, remember, when you're solving, you want to get your x by itself, right? So I subtract that 76 over there. You didn't do anything wrong, but what you're doing is you're putting more things onto the side of the x, right? So it's just, it's just kind of making more work for yourself. Just If you can always think of when you're solving for x, get rid of everything that's on that x, on the side of the x. But you still could have done it that way. It just once you would have su subtracted 76, though, you would have had to bring it all the way back over here, anyways. Um, so then, I uh, I have 66 six equals 6x. Six Got undo multiplication. I divide by six, and therefore I get 11 equals six. 11 equals x. As six divided by six cancels out to a one. One times x is just x. So then, we don't really like to write 11 equals x, we like to write x equals 11. And that's how you solve that problem.